Lewis the Cat of West Halibut Street was the fussiest eater you ever could meet. He always had lunch at his favorite cafe, where he ate the same food in the same seat each day. I'll have my usual, is what Lewis said. Some of your tuna on crusty brown bread. I know what I like, and I like what I get. Fetch me my tuna, then I'll be set. Take a risk, teased the owner, who was a gorilla. Today try some ice cream. You, you could start with vanilla. But Lewis rejected foods others would savor. I can tell by its look that I won't like its flavor. I know what I like, and I like what I've got. It's tuna for me. It hits the right spot. Until something happened that left Lewis shocked. One day he arrived, and the cafe was locked. Let me in! Let me in! Don't you know it's lunchtime? And then Lewis noticed a handwritten sign. I'm sorry we're closed. I'll be back next weekend. I've gone to the jungle to visit a friend. I want to eat here. I don't want to change. I don't want to go somewhere new, somewhere strange. But Lewis's tummy made a rumbling sound, which meant... Feed me, I'm hungry. Poor Lewis just frowned. So he walked up the road to another cafe. It's tuna on brown or I'm off on my way. The cafe was posh, with waiters to tend you. And you ordered your food from a scratch and sniff menu. He scratched and he sniffed, but tuna was nowhere. His poor tummy screamed, eat anything there. Peanut butter on brown was the thing Lewis chose. He ate it one-handed while holding his nose. He tried not to taste it. He tried not to chew, but he made a discovery, which surprised even Lou. Tuna was his favorite, but he liked this stuff more. And he wished that he'd tried peanut butter before. Lewis started to wonder, he started to doubt, and then Lewis realized he'd been missing out. The next week, the gorilla came back. Hello, Lou. Fish paste on brown? No thanks, something new. Lewis tried some egg salad, salami and peas. Then he asked other diners, may I try that dish, please? He didn't like everything, but he liked quite a bit. He tried out the whole menu and did not want to quit. So he started requesting his own recipes, like banana split soup and strawberries on cheese. Soon other customers wanted Lou's dishes. Some were disgusting, but most were delicious. You never know till you try. That's what I always say, meowed Lewis proudly, baking hot dog souffle because now the gorilla let him do his own cooking, and the smells down the street had new customers looking. You're such a sensation, said the gorilla one day. I'll make you my partner and expand the cafe, which is just what they did, and they changed the name too. It became the Cat's Whiskers in honor of Lou. So if you're ever hungry down West Halibut Street, have lunch made by Lewis. You'll be in for a treat. <laughs>